and welcome back. Today we are doing an episode on ice and I've got some really fun things to show you. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to a lake that's iced over. Then we are going to be doing an experiment with ice. And then last but not least, we are going to be doing our fun fact of the day. And today it's a really funny fact about burping fish. So keep watching. Let's get on with it. And now on to a really fun experiment with ice. And for this experiment, you will need the following things. You will need a piece of rope. You will need some ice, of course, and some salt. And that's it. It's really, really simple. So, Bonnie's barking behind me. What we need to do now is we are going to take our ice and we are going to put it on the plate. There we are, you see? All right. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to put a few pieces lined up like so, okay? And I'm going to place my string on the top. Now this is gonna be magic. The next thing is I'm gonna take my salt and I am going to pour it on the top of the ice, okay? And I'm just gonna push it down a little bit and then I am going to count to ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So let's hope it's going to work. Now it may not stick to all of them, but even if it just sticks to one, that's great. So let's have a go. Ready, steady. But now, guys, if you do it, maybe leave it just a little bit longer so that it, you really ensure that it's got time to stick. But isn't that fantastic and amazing? Have a go and see how you get on. at Green Turtle Lake and it is freezing and that's why I've got on my gloves and I've got on my hat it's so so cold and because it's so cold look what's happened to the lake it's frozen over isn't that amazing and look if you look very carefully you can see these beautiful swans swimming in the lake just here in the background now I wanted to show you something that you can do with the frozen lake gals with me here and he's happy to go into the water and just pick up a piece of the ice to show you. Wow, guys. Look at this huge piece of ice. Isn't that amazing? It's crazy. Now, you want to see what happens if you throw it in? Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't that make an amazing sound? And how it shattered like glass and skidded along the top of the ice. Woo! I wonder if it's the same, Gal, if you do it with stones, with the pebbles here. Do you want to take some? Sure. Here's have some. a look. Listen. Oh, it makes a really nice sound, but they're not heavy enough to break the ice. Now, if we were to get something really heavy, like a big stone or a big stick, maybe he'd be able to shatter the ice Totally. Let's see if he's able to do it. I found this huge branch right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. wow. I think that that's actually not heavy enough, gal. Maybe we'll find something else. So look what he's found now. This huge, huge, huge log, okay? So gal, maybe if you throw it from up until down, then Three. it will really, really shatter it. Let's have a go. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it made three cracks. 
amazing. That just shows you how strong that ice must be and how cold it must have been for the ice to set like that. You have a go too. If you go to a lake and it's frozen, have a go and see what you can do. today's fun fact of the day and today's fun fact is about fish. Now I know that we all know about fishing and fishing can be really fun but did you know that it's possible to go fishing on an iced lake? Now how can you do that? Well actually if you go to a lake that's iced over what people do is they saw a hole into a circle, they take the layer of ice off and then they just put their rod into the water and fish in that small watered area. Now I want to show you something, a short film where a man went fishing. He caught a fish but when he put the fish back after he'd caught it because he didn't want to eat it, the fish wouldn't swim away. Have a look and see this now. Okay guys, why do you think that happened? Well, I'm going to tell you. It happened because the fish was full of air. And so when the fisherman tried to put the fish back into the water, the fish would float and it wasn't able to dive back under and swim away. So what did this kind fisherman do? Well, he took the fish, he squeezed its belly really, really hard, and what happened? The fish let out this loud, loud burp, which was really, really funny. Then he put the fish back into the water. The fish was obviously delighted and swam away. Let's have a look at it together now. Gotta burp. Burp it out. Is that better? Now let's see. Oh, look at that. Away he goes. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed all those icy activities. Have a go with that ice experiment and see how you get on. It's very icy outside at the moment, isn't it? So wrap up warm and keep safe. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.